Manga Wido. My name is Mami Kawase. I'm 29 years old. Ever since I graduated from high school, I've been working at my parents' flower shop. People imagine that working at a flower shop must be nice and elegant, but it actually isn't like that. It's a lot of hard manual labor. As you can see, for someone skinny like me, it's really hard work. It's not that I have a chronic illness or anything, but ever since I was little, I got sick easily. I would often get a fever and go home early from school, or I would take to bed when I got too excited with something. I often got a nosebleed as well. Without my younger brother, Takuro's support, I don't know if I could have managed to graduate from high school. About two years after I started working at my parents' flower shop, I met a young man who always walked by our store in the morning and in the late afternoon. We soon became good friends. His name is Yutaka Hashimoto. He was two years older than me. A good looking guy with a nice smile. When I first met him, he was a university student. He's a handsome guy who's too good for you, sis. Hey, you can forget about the too good for you part. He majors in pharmaceutical science, right? I heard he's doing research in herbal medicine. Oh? Did you hear that from him directly? Make sure you don't talk too much nonsense, all right? He would tell him about medicinal benefits of common flowers that not many average people would know, also about poisonous plants. Yutaka was very knowledgeable, and conversations with him were stimulating and fun. Then... Something happened that I kind of had a feeling would happen from the moment I first met him. Would you marry me? I also like flowers. Taking care of them, and about you, Mommy. Really? You sure you want to marry me? What are you saying? Of course! He officially proposed, and Yutaka and I were soon married. When we got married, Yutaka was working as a researcher at a pharmaceutical company, the reason why I say was is because after we got married, he quit his job and told me he would help out at the flower shop. Well, Mommy, you aren't the strongest person. I want to work with you as much as possible. Also, I've always liked flower shops. I was pretty surprised by this, but my father, who was the shop owner, welcomed the news. One can tell that you've had a great education. Teaching you is a joy, Yutaka. Thank you very much. Compared to herbal medicine, looking after living flowers is exciting work! But, two years ago, Mom died in a traffic accident. Since then, Dad became depressed and ill. Perhaps Dad was relieved that Yutaka had come to help out at the store. Last year, he had a stroke and passed away very suddenly. After my dad died, Yutaka and I took care of the shop. There were many female clients because Yutaka was a good-looking guy. Right around that time was when we discovered that I was pregnant. Wow, I'm happy! I'm happy, but I'm surprised! Me too. I'm not that strong physically, so I honestly thought that I wouldn't be able to get pregnant. Dad and Mom in heaven, please be happy for me. I'm finally able to have a baby. But it was around this time that Yutaka's attitude toward me became cold. Wait, you're going out again? Yesterday, I heard from one of our customers that she had seen you come out of a pachinko parlor. Will you just leave me alone? What I do with my free time is my business, right? Oh, wait. I also heard a rumor that he had been with one of the female clients, but I couldn't ask him about that. Little by little, the times that he would leave the shop without a word and go out drinking until late at night increased. Are you going out again? How do you plan to protect this shop and our child? Shut up and behave yourself! Don't tell me what to do! I told you that I'm going out just for a little while! We often got into a fight. When my morning sickness was bad, he gave me no words of comfort. Could you take me to the clinic tomorrow? I'm getting a regular checkup with the doctor. Tomorrow doesn't work. I got plans. You ought to go by yourself! You aren't sick! I had heard that there are husbands who become indifferent to their wives during their pregnancy. It seems like Yutaka was one of them. I had a really hard time taking care of work and the household chores, especially with my not-so-strong body. As my stomach got bigger, Yutaka went out to play around more often and on a bigger scale. Wait, where are you going? 
I told you that I have maternity school this afternoon. What? I never heard such a thing! Where did that gentle Yutaka go? But I had no time to even be sad about this. With things like this, the store wasn't doing well, and our sales were down, big time. I was already approaching the last month of pregnancy, but I decided to pay a visit to my brother, Takuro, who now lived in his own place. And so, I'm ashamed to say this, but I need your help. Takuro, could you lend your sister some money? Of course I'll lend you the money, but what is going on? I thought you two were getting along well. I hadn't been telling Takuro about Yutaka's change of behavior, because I didn't want to worry him. When he heard the story, Takuro became so angry that his face turned bright red. I had never seen him this angry before, but... Wait, Takuro, I'm happy that you're so concerned about me, but this is a problem between me and Yutaka, so I'll try to work it out myself. I understand. But if something were to happen to you or to your baby, I will not forgive that guy. Then, I came back with Takuro's money that he had lent me. I had gotten off from the train and was slowly making my way home. What? Is that Yutaka? And the woman next to him is his lover? Yutaka was walking arm in arm with a young woman, almost by reflex. I took the picture of them together. After that, I cried my eyes out. But a few days after that, something even worse happened. Hey, Yutaka? Do you know where the money that I borrowed from Takuro went? I kept it here where it would be safe. The one that was inside the drawer inside the envelope? I used it. How should I know what kind of money that was? How could you? That was money that we desperately needed for our living expenses and the preparations for our baby. Huh. Then you should have kept it in a safer place. Oh yeah, I'll be going on a trip with a friend of mine for tomorrow. Wh what? I'm nine months pregnant. This baby could come at any time. What can a father do about that? Shut up, you blabbermouth! With that, he really left for his trip. I was stupefied, so I had no choice but to go to the OBGYN by myself. It was after everything had finished. I finally saw that the bastard had called my sister's phone. Hey! I got the news from Takuro that you suddenly went to labor! Yutaro? Huh? Is this Takuro? What happened to mommy and the baby? The funeral already finished. I've already buried her. Everything is finished. Funeral? Burial? What the hell are you talking about? What is going on with mommy and the child? I tried desperately to control my anger. I almost crushed my sister's smartphone. I told you, my sister died. She had trouble while giving birth and her body couldn't take it. Mommy died? What's gonna happen to my dad? Who's gonna pay that? You're asking me that now? Please come back as soon as possible. You understand? The next day, the bastard finally came back from a long trip with his friend, who was obviously his lover. Seriously? Mommy really died? Oh my god! Seriously? That woman? What the hell? I desperately tried to hold my emotions as I was close to exploding. I put various official documents in front of the bastard. This is the document regarding the money my sister borrowed. She had borrowed it to use it for raising her child. $30,000?! She borrowed so much money without telling me about it?! Where's this money now?! My sister asked me to keep it safe to make sure that this money would be used for her child. What?! Don't talk such nonsense! That is for my child! Give that money to me! I can't let you use it for drinking and gambling. You can shut up and just pay back the money. He seems stupefied to hear from me that he should just pay back the money. What the hell? Mommy is the one who borrowed money without consulting me about it. Why should I pay it back? That's because you are obligated to provide for child support. You are responsible for this payment. What? Child support? Why do I have to hear such a thing from you? What do you know about it? It was finally at this point that I showed the bastard my business card.
and revealed to him my current occupation. Of course I'm familiar with these matters. I work at a law firm. At a law firm? I will have you pay back the money I lent my sister. I hear that you used it all up. Oh, and I've contacted your lover, Tomoko Inazuka's husband. What? He was quite upset. You should be careful. He used to be in the mafia and knows quite a lot of people. I would found out who that bastard's lover was after my sister showed me the picture of the two together. You were aware that Miss Inazuka was married, correct? Her marriage is probably in shambles now. I... I don't know! I don't know anything about that! She was the one who seduced me! You think people would believe such a story? Seriously? You son of a bitch! It's no use pretending not to know anything about it! I had you investigated! I will make sure you pay back your debt! Wait, so... I don't know anything! Don't tell me that you don't know, bastard! You better prepare yourself! I will have you pay back for what you did to my sister for the rest of your life! I'm so going to make you pay! When I was investigating that bastard's background, I discovered an unbelievable fact. Apparently, he had been thinking about how he could live without working when he quit his job at the pharmaceutical company. At one of the drinking parties, he mentioned that. He is a parasite. He would do whatever he liked while making my sister do all the work. That was the plan he had put into action after Dad died. After that, my law license seemed to have some effect on the bastard. He was diligently paying back his debt for a while, but that didn't last very long. Soon, he couldn't keep up with his expenses and he ran off in the middle of the night. According to a rumor, he left with barely nothing except his clothes to some place in the countryside. He probably won't be able to get away. His lover's husband looked like he was seriously angry. A few days after the bastard ran off, the husband had his former gang members chase after him. He probably was captured or got seriously hurt. He would have been better off if he hadn't escaped and had kept on paying back his debt. What an idiot. I had promised my sister when she gave birth that I would take care of her child. On my sister's death date, I went to visit her grave with her baby sleeping in my arms. I told her the things that had happened. Sis, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Don't worry about your child. I will make sure that she grows up to be a wonderful adult. Please watch over us from heaven. I swore that this time, I would protect my invaluable family member. <laughs>